summary is one way to assess if a reader understood the plot of a story. However, before assigning story summaries, we must first teach students how to determine which details to include and how to present those details logically. Regardless if it's a narrative picture book, short story, myth, legend, sci-fi, or animated video short, all narrative texts can be summarized using the same frame or structure. Somebody wanted, but, so, then. These words are key because they each represent a particular story element that must be included in any story's summary. Somebody is replaced by the name or names of the main characters. Wanted is followed by that character's motivation or what he desires. But introduces the conflict. So outlines the events that worsen the problem through the rising action then reveals how the problem is ultimately solved or resolved. Summaries are succinct and only include the most important information. The somebody wanted but so then frame simplifies the process of determining which details to include or exclude. In addition, this tool mirrors the plot map of all narrative texts. Utilizing it ensures that a student's summary will follow the same story arc, and that is essential. Any objective summary should always pattern the text structure used in the original text. When teaching this concept over the course of several days, return to short texts previously read. First, model how to recall the relevant details per story element. Then, model how to insert them into the somebody wanted but so then frame, all to create a one to three sentence oral summary. For example, using the well-known fairy tale Cinderella, it may be summarized like this. Cinderella wanted to attend the king's ball, but Cinderella's stepmother forced her to do chores to keep her from going. So her fairy godmother helped her do the chores and get her to the ball. Then she met her Prince Charming. Initially, teach summarization with short narrative texts. Then, just as students advance to reading longer texts, they will need additional instruction on how to write longer summaries. The good news is that this same frame will work with narrative stories of any length, including chapter books and novels. Take note that a summary's length is to be proportionate to the length of the original text. So if a 30-sentence picture book is summarized in two or three sentences, then it makes sense that the summary of a 200-page novel would be longer. Again, this is the struggle point for most students. What additional information should they include? Explain to students that the summary won't necessarily add more character information. And since the conflict, climax, and resolution are all individual story events, they won't change much either. Where the summary can be extended is often found within the story's rising action. The conflict and resolution are separated dramatically with many more obstacles, consequences, and suspense, all that worsen the problem. Although this frame helps older students prioritize and organize the many details of a longer text, emphasize that what is generated is merely a starting point. We don't really want students to use but, so, then, and other simplistic transition words in their summaries. Therefore, deliver a lesson on how to revise the content generated by the frame. Teach them how to vary the sentence beginnings, adjust the sentence structures, and punctuate the different pieces of information. This will produce a strong and sophisticated narrative summary that takes somebody wanted but so then to a whole new level.